Nice seeing you. Nice to see you. Good morning. It's time to call to order the March 24th, 2016 meeting of the Oklahoma City Airport Trust. Uh, the first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the February 25th, 2016 Oklahoma City Airport Trust. We have a motion to approve. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Please cast your votes. And it is approved. Director's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. I do want to mention uh, just a few things regarding the new airport's rental car center that opened on Wednesday, March the 2nd. Um, of course, operating this facility is a major shift in how we operate the rental car business at Will Rogers World Airport in that it consolidates all of the functions of the rental car companies in one location. Uh, the new uh, facility is located on airport property north of the terminal building, just south of Airport Road on 35 acres. It uh, uh, cost about $36, uh, $36 million, and that includes the eight buses that we purchased that uh, buses the passengers to and from the terminal building and the new facility. A few facts that I wanted to mention is that the total number of ready return spaces, these are the spaces where customers will pick up the rental cars. We doubled, more than doubled those spaces from the 378 spaces we had in the uh, parking garage to 820. And we have more than 1,800 storage spaces for the nine companies that are operating in the new facility. The uh, facility also has four quick turnaround buildings, as they're called, and this is where uh, the nine companies are able to more efficiently do the fueling and car washing and maintenance of their vehicles. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the buses, because that's the other major shift in how we operate. We purchased eight 35-foot low-floor CNG buses. And uh, they've been operating on a bump and run operation, which means there is typically going to be a bus that will always be at the terminal building or the customer service building of the new rental facility, uh, always to accommodate uh, the passengers. Um, the average time to and from the terminal building is about three and a half minutes. And uh, all, again, as I said before, all buses are ADA accessible. Um, in general, about 20% of all of the deplaning passengers at Will Rogers have a propensity to want to rent a car. That's actually up from about 17% that we had when we designed the facility. And in 2015, nearly 300,000 vehicles were rented, which represented a 7% increase from when we first started the project two years ago. And it may interest you to know that the average length of time that customers rent a car in Oklahoma City is 3.69 days. So that's a few facts about the facility. So it's going very well. I will also just mention that First Transit, who's doing the bus operations, um, has been very busy. Um, in the first 20 days of operating the facility, we uh, transported, or they did on our behalf, about 38,000 customers were averaging almost 1,900 average daily customers. And some of those buses have been going back and forth full. Uh, and, and, and sometimes there are people standing and holding the handrails. So it's, it's brisk. Activity is brisk. Very good. Thank you, Mark. Any questions or comments? Yeah, Mark, employments uh, this year, how are we holding up? Employments uh, January and February are typically our slow periods. We were a little bit up in February, but we actually had a bump in February, and I didn't realize it until uh, a couple of days ago. But we had leap year this year, and so <laughs> the numbers were skewed a little bit for this year. But uh, we're still uh, up. So going well, air service as well. Thank you, sir. Will Rogers World Airport. Item A is to adopt the resolution declaring the air cargo building surplus, approve the release of the lien, and authorize staff to pursue disposal of the structure. Item B is adopting the resolution authorizing the purchase and installation of the VOIP telephone system for the airport's fire station be doing this project utilizing uh, two contracts, one with Presidio Corporation, which is a state contract. We're also purchasing and installing uh, new supporting infrastructure using RFIP Incorporated, utilizing a city contract. Estimated project cost of $72,000. Item C is approving the professional management services agreement with Protec Fire Services. This will be for the management of the airport's rescue and firefighting services. This will be a five-year contract beginning on July the 1st. 
Item D is approving addendas one and two for the multi-purpose building boiler replacement project at Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center, accepting the recommendation on the bids opened on March 1st and awarding the contract to Hunter Mechanical and Controls Incorporated for $1,022,000 approving contract and bonds. Item E is approving change order number seven to the contract with Terra Construction for the roof replacement and building repairs for various buildings at Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center adding $37,227 and 35 days. F is to concur with the Consultant Review Committee authorizing negotiation of a contract with Triad Design Group for the repair of the Thomas P. Stafford Building parking lot at Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center. G is concurring with the Review Committee authorizing negotiation of a contract with Olson Associates Incorporated for the repair of Mike Monroney Boulevard, Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center. Item H is rejecting the bid on February 23rd for our exterior tile replacement project and approving the revised project manual and plans and authorizing re-advertisement of the bid to be opened on April 26th. Item I is approving addendas one through four for the request for proposals to replace the airport's parking access and revenue control system to support our public parking garages and surface lots, concurring with the selection committee's recommendation authorizing negotiation of a contract with Ski Data Incorporated. Item J is approving Amendment 2 to the contract with TTK Construction Company for the Portland Avenue realignment project. We're adding $244,587 and approving a change order, adding $4,400. Item K is accept the recommendation on the bids open on February 23rd for the Hangar 2 low roof re-roof project, awarding the contract to Oklahoma Roofing and Sheet Metal for $41,838 approving contract and bonds. L is accepting the recommendation on the bids open February 23rd for the Snow Barn Roof Coating Project, also awarding to Oklahoma Roofing and Sheet Metal for $96,531 approving contract and bonds. M is a change order to the contract with TTK for our project to replace the asphalt portions of taxiway C and G with concrete, we're adding 46 days. N is accepting the completed project for the commission of the public art project for the new rental car facility with Fenham Arts Incorporated. And last, O is to approve change order one to the contract with Omco Construction. This is for the cargo annex building upgrade project adding $2,328.75. That's all items for Will Rogers. Thank you, Mark. Uh, you've heard the items for Will Rogers. What is the desire of the trustees? Move the item. Second. The motion is second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it is so done. Next up, uh, Wiley Post and Currency Page. The only item for general aviation is to approve item A, which is Amendment 2 to the contract with Libra Electric for our Phase 2 project for airfield infrastructure repairs and improvements. This deducts $3,944.64, approving change order 1. We have a motion to approve. Second. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, please cast your votes, and it is so ordered. General. Item A is to receive our delinquent accounts receivable report, construction project status report, and the budget actual report. Item B is accepting the recommendation of the bids open on February 23rd for our utility repairs and maintenance contract awarding to Brewer Construction, Oklahoma LLC, for 365 days or not to exceed $300,000. This is for all three airports. Request approval for A and B. You've heard the request for approval? Move approval. We have a motion is second. Any comments or questions? Please cast your votes. And this is so done. Lease and other agreements. All we have on lease and other agreements are item A and B, which are ground services agreements with various companies providing ground transportation at the airport. Request approval for items A and B both. We have a motion to approve. Second. A second. Any questions or comments? Please cast your votes. And it is so approved. Roman numeral 8, adopt the res requisition resolution and uh, authorize the payments of the requisitions dated March 24th. Move it. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Please cast your votes. And is so adopted. Comments from trustees? Seeing none, any comments from staff? Again, seeing none, any comments from citizens who wish to be heard? Seeing none, thank you all. We are adjourned.